Hi Gemini, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of April 11th to the 17th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you, as always, this is general for the week, uh, so just take what resonates. And as well, thank you in advance for your likes, comments, and subscriptions to this channel. If you haven't done so already, join this Gemini tribe. And uh, they're saying strong tribe. And as well, uh, to book a personal reading with myself when you decide that's right for you, uh, just reach out via email and I'll definitely get that started for you. Everything you need lies down below in the description box, including that email and the options and pricing. Anyways, don't forget to as well stick with me to the very end of this video, uh, this reading, to get an answer to your own yes or no question. So just think of it along the way. Um, as I did that, they were saying pondering upon. Um, but the overall message I channeled for you for this upcoming week, an extreme boost in confidence, an extreme boost in confidence. They said that doesn't necessarily mean in energy. And the song um, that Spirit chose to speak upon your week on Shuffle, Everybody Wants Ya by seven, uh, S Club 7. Everybody Wants Ya. I love this song. Definitely uh, connects, coincides with the overall message. I'll leave that down below for you to utilize in one way, shape, or form. And let's begin. We'll start by pulling a couple messages or a few, whatever we get from the Starseed Oracle deck. And then we'll further speak upon your week with the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Okay, Spirit's rhyming. So um, let's begin for Gemini. It was a message about think, um, thinking about something twice before you say it could definitely benefit you. Um, okay, we have a one. There's also saying try to cut out um, uh, the word is not going to benefit you this week and you will find that even certain other words that you say too often or just make you sound like you're second guessing oneself, even if you're not, um, are going to need to be cut out moving forward for the benefit of your career, who you can want to communicate with in a very effective manner. Uh, we also have, uh, so we have three on the board and we also have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation and activation within oneself that leaves you feeling more confident. All right. I feel as if people are going to be complimenting you a lot this week, uh, seeing you as skilled, seeing you as very attractive, liking your vibe, your energy, the calm grounds away about you at times feeling a spurt in energy and that keeping people interested, keeping people, uh, curious, right? Your curious nature will attract what you desire this week. You may feel as if it opens a door, as this is the next one we're going to speak upon, to a new opportunity that's meant for you and only you. It feels very career oriented, but it could be more so a networking connection that's going to lead you to other connections, right? Uh, which can be wrapped up with your career. But I do feel as if some of you, it's more uh, love and romance oriented. Anyways, so the portal card talking about doors are opening, you decide, rewards, a wild card. People are going to see you as this wild card, but not in a way that you would uh, be disappointed by or just maybe take as an insult. Uh, you're going to feel as if you're somebody who gives off the energy, the vibe where uh, I'm going to switch it up when I so choose. I live life the way I want to, but I will follow the rules when need be. I will uh, do what I have to do but I'm not going to compromise who I'm becoming or who I know I am at this point along my path when doing so. Does that make sense? You're going to find that things feel colorful in a very simplistic, but yet complex kind of way throughout the week. And again, that's how people are viewing you. Simple, but complex and uh, intelligent all the meanwhile. All right, they're showing me an owl. Perspective, none of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. I truly feel like you're either thinking about a past job you had, interesting, even though it really wasn't significant for your path. Um, but as random as that sounds, you're being pushed to when you have random thoughts about your past or you find one stressing or getting uh, annoyed by certain details or people's mannerisms or just the way about them, right? Uh, or a situation that's just unhealthy. Zoom on out, my friend take a step back or, you know, even if that's just figuratively, you know, within one's mind, 
Allow for yourself to keep things in perspective. You have a lot ahead for you, a lot going on, and to get oneself frustrated or upset or just too mentally intertwined, wrapped around uh, irrelevant details or just even past situations that maybe were beneficial or taught you something or a stepping stone, it's going to be beneficial for you to bring it back to the present moment and uh, don't overwhelm oneself with minuscule or even non-minuscule uh, details or situations uh, that are in that present moment, okay? Keep one's head in the game is what's coming through. They're also saying your world is changing. Surrender to the sweetness, uh, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. I'm now hearing a select few. Uh, some people you might find are a bit threatened or uh, annoyed, even if it doesn't come off exactly that way, uh, by your shift in energy or your shift in um, confidence, okay? Maybe sparking a bit of insecurity within them or just feeling a bit envious for one reason or another. Don't let it get the best of you. Again, keep it in perspective. You got it going on. And um, surrender to the sweetness. If somebody makes your voice shake, they are not an energy to be surrounding oneself with. Uh, at least, if you may not be able to help it fully, especially if it's work oriented. But do keep that in mind. Okay, uh, something to consider moving forward. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. A push to just enjoy oneself. They're showing me somebody walking around a neighborhood and smelling uh, what seem like roses or just flowers in general. Being pushed to stop and smell the roses when you have the opportunity to do so. When you're given that chance. Make love to life, right? As dramatic as that sounds, there's a calmness to that imagery, to that description, to that advice. And I feel like you're painting pictures for people throughout the week storytelling but not overdoing it and when you do overdo it uh, it still feels likable right but thinking twice or being pushed to think twice before you speak or you word something and then it comes out uh, in an exquisite way people just feeling as if you know what you are doing when it comes to a new situation an existing one or just when it comes to what you're advising people of you seem to be someone who is helping in a lot of ways okay beautiful they're now saying cleaning up however that pertains to you let's pull some tarot you may be stressing about money to a certain extent feeling like it's been a bit inconsistent recently or you just desire more all right could be as, as coming from the five of pentacles you could more so feel as if um you desire a situation where you fit in more so or wondering if you're ever going to fit in fully where you're at Interesting. So the number five, five coming out, uh, desiring change in certain ways and being reminded with your energy, your confidence, you can make that change happen or those changes happen. Don't fret. Don't question. Don't expect the worst because things are transpiring for you. Things are transforming for you in a beautiful way. It just feels like with the five of cups, you do expect the worst at certain points in the week. Uh, some of you for the majority of the week, even though that doesn't shine or show fully, you could find that somebody in your midst is, as well as very pessimistic or just finds it hard not to focus on the negatives or just the past or the, uh, you know, the worst potential outcome, right? And I feel like this is aligned and connected to the portal card because I feel as if you could be partially due to the way you were raised or just how you were programmed along the way, even by one's adaptations, I feel the need to say. Um, but I just feel as if you are expecting the worst when it comes to certain doors or a specific door that's opening for you. Don't compare it to the past. Expect the best as it would only be opening and feel so colorful if it was meant for you, right? Um, trust your intuition all the meanwhile, but don't confuse that um, habit of uh, oneself that you've built over time potentially to expect the worst. Don't confuse that with your intuition. Very much separate, right? Trust your gut feeling and spirit will potentially communicate with you as to what you're manifesting at this time with two major arcanas at the bottom of the deck. Talking about a lot transforming once again, a life-changing week for the better. So don't dim that light, that but the power of that change, excuse me, or make oneself nervous all the meanwhile by um, expecting the worst, okay? If a door is opening for you, uh, trust your intuition and then walk right through it when the time feels right for you. 
realizing and remembering the possibilities are endless for you this time as I feel like it's going to bring you more prosperity in a lot of ways, more abundance, okay? Let's keep pulling from the middle. The Five of Pentacles coming out again, and they keep wanting to stress this five message. You're gonna see a lot of fives throughout the week, even if they're combined with other numbers. Uh, they're saying 55, 22, look up the angel number meaning. There is a message for you. Uh, the Empress also coming out. So again, I do wanna show these together, all right? Allow for yourself to recognize things should be warming up soon enough. Your energy is going to warm things up as long as you're in the right mindset, okay? Think about how what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, what you're expecting affects your energy, the warmth, the comfort of a situation, especially when you're trying to get something from somebody or convince somebody uh, of something in one way, shape, or form. Interesting. As we do have the Empress talking about a situation you desire, to give birth to in one way, shape, or form. I need to, and the Five of Pentacles is aligned with this perspective card, okay? Talking about how you do need to when dealing with money concerns or just a situation you don't fit in with, take a step back and don't stress it, okay? Do not stress it. I feel like there could be a certain point where you lose your breath, something to learn, okay? Take a deep breath as with the Empress card coming out for this uh, surrender to the sweetness card being pushed to surrender to the sweetness when it comes to what you want to give birth to as well. I feel like out of respect for what you want to move towards give birth to it's going to help to enjoy oneself to take a moment to smell the roses to uh, pleasure oneself in one way shape or form. Take that how you wish. Okay. Feels like there's an underlying focus as well on you feeling a bit uh, wounded or burnt out, right? Feeling like the wounded warrior to a certain extent, desiring change uh, and ending in one way, shape or form and being pushed to recognize that that's happening for you in a lot of ways. As it is a week where once again, you are changing your life for the better as you do get a boost, an extreme boost in confidence. Uh, so do embrace that at the very least. Let's answer your question. For Gemini. Alrighty, as it picks up speed, you're getting an answer of yes. You got a yes. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing week, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye, Gemini.